Here in this video, we are going to learn how to do binary addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. All four things in one video in short time. So without wasting time, let's get started. So first thing that we are going to solve here, that is binary addition. When you add binary 0 plus 0, it gives us 0. When you add 0 plus 1, the sum is 1. When you add 1 plus 0, the answer is 1. But when you add 1 plus 1, the sum will be 0 and the carry will be 1. Now let's understand this thing with few examples. So when we add 1 plus 1 in decimal number system, the answer is 2. The same way when you add 9 plus 1 in decimal number system, the answer, the sum is 0 and the carry will be 1. When you bring that carry down, it becomes 1, 0, means 10. So in decimal number system, when you add 9 plus 1, it becomes 10. The same way in binary number system, now we are talking about binary 1 plus 1, binary addition. So when you add binary 1 plus 1, the sum will be 0 and the carry will be 1. And when you bring this carry down, it becomes 1, 0. And what is the decimal equivalent to this 1, 0? That is obviously 2. So using this example, you can relate these two additions. Now I'll give you one more example to have more clarity on the binary addition. In decimal number system, 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives us 3. Now if we talk about binary addition, if we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 in binary, what are we supposed to do? In first step, we are supposed to add these two ones. Just previously we have seen that when we add 1 plus 1, the sum will be 0 and 1 will be as carry to the next term. So here the sum is 0. Now again we will consider these two terms. 0 plus 1 that gives us 1. Now when we bring this carry down it becomes 1 1. So in binary number system when you add 1 plus 1 plus 1 that becomes 1 1. And what is the decimal equivalent to this? The decimal equivalent to this is 3. So these are the few logics you are supposed to consider when you are doing binary addition. Now here with this numerical we are going to understand how to do binary addition. So let's start with this number 1 plus 1. We have seen 1 plus 1 the sum is 0 carry is 1. Again here 1 plus 1 the sum will be 0 carry will be 1. Now here we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 ones in a column. So what we'll do we'll add these two ones and then we'll add another two terms. So 1 plus 1 that becomes 0 and 1 will be carry to the next term. So here we have 1 that is carry to this next term. Now let's come back here. This 0 plus 1 gives us 1. Here point as it is. Now into the next term we have 1 plus 1. So the answer would be 0 and 1 will be carry to the next term. Again 1 plus 1. So sum will be 0 and carry will be 1. Now here again we have 1 plus 1 plus 1. Now this time what we'll do? We'll directly write 1 plus 1 plus 1. The sum will be 1 and carry will be 1 to the next term. Now when we bring this one down, we have 1100.100. 1, 1, 0, 0. 0, 0. So this is the answer of this binary addition. Now watching this video and doing all these sums together will help you understand binary addition. So do this summation and write the answer in comments below. And do let me know if you have any doubt and query about binary addition. Now it's time for binary subtraction. So when you do 0 minus 0, it gives us 0. 1 minus 0, obviously 1. 1 minus 1, 0. But the fourth logic, that is really important. When you do 0 minus 1, the subtraction will be 1 and 1 will be borrow. So this is what happens when you subtract 1 from 0. Now we'll understand this logic using one example. So here we are going to subtract these two terms. So now we are going to start with this number. In first step we want to subtract 0 minus 1. 0 means there is nothing, 1 means there is something. So is it possible to subtract something from nothing? It's not going to happen. So now what we supposed to do? We are going to do the same thing which we used to do with decimal number system. 
we are going to borrow some numbers from the next weighted number. So here it is 0, we cannot subtract 1 from 0. So what we'll do, we'll try to subtract this 1 to this position. And when we borrow 1 from this position to this position, it becomes 1 0. But the question is, why it becomes 1 0? It should be 1. But no, it will not be 1, it becomes 1 0. But why it is like this? Let me tell you the logic. For example, in decimal number system, you want to subtract 27 from 33. So what we used to do, can we subtract this 7 from 3? We cannot subtract. So what we do, we borrow 1 from the next weighted number to here. In decimal number system, the weight of this number is 10 times higher than the weight of this number. So when you borrow 1 from here to here, it becomes 10. Right, because the weight of this number is 10 times the weight of this number. So that is why this 3 becomes 13 when you borrow 1 from here. The same way when you borrow 1 from here to here, it becomes 1 0. Now in binary number system, the weight of this 1 is 2 times higher than the weight of this 0. So when you bring this 1 from this weighted position to this weighted position, the weight of this 1 becomes 2 times higher. 2 means 1 0 in binary. So that is why this 1 becomes 1 0 when you borrow it to the next stage. So now when we borrow 1 from here to here, what's left there? There were 1 and we brought it. So it has left with nothing. So we have 0 over here and 1 0 over here. And now we are going to subtract this 1, 0 and 1. So 1, 0 minus 1 gives us 1 and 1 will remain as borrow at this place. Now we are here. Again we have to do subtraction 0 minus 1. So we'll follow the same procedure. We'll borrow 1 from here. This place becomes 1, 0. Now we have borrowed 1 from here. So 0 will left over here. Now we'll do 1, 0, minus 1. So 1 will be left. Now the point will place as it is. Now here 0, minus 0. In next step 0, minus 1. The same thing we are going to do. We borrow 1 from here to here and it becomes 1, 0. Now we have borrowed 1. So what left? Nothing is left. So it's 0. 1, 0, minus 1. That is 1. And 0, minus 0 gives us 0. So 0, 1, 0 0.11, 1, this will be the subtraction of this number. Now after understanding subtraction, you're supposed to solve both these numericals and write the answer in comments below. Because watching video and doing practice would help you to record the subtraction in your mind. So quickly do it and write the answer in comments below. And if you find any query or doubt while doing this thing, write that thing in comments. Now the next thing we are going to understand that is binary multiplication. So in binary when you multiply 0 with 0, we get 0. When you multiply 0 with 1, we get 0. 1 with 0, 0. And 1 with 1, 1. So here we have only one place where you get 1 as a multiplication. In rest of all three possible combinations, we get 0 in the answer. So now using one multiplication, we'll understand how to solve binary multiplication. So there we go, here we are going to multiply 10.11 into 11.01. Binary multiplication, we are supposed to do it the same way we used to do the decimal multiplication. We will start with this number, we multiply this 1 with 1, we have 1. This 1 with 1, 1. 1 with 0, we have 0 and 1 with 1, we have 1. Now we go for the next term, this one is 0, so 0 into 1 is 0. 0 into this one, 0, 0 into 0 and 0 into 1. All these things are 0. But the key thing over here is you are supposed to start multiplying this 0 with 1 and write the answer exactly below this 0. So this is important thing. Now one place is left over here. So what you are supposed to do? You are supposed to write 0 over here. Now we go for the next term. When you, mul when you multiply this 1 with 1, we have 1. 1 into 1, 1, 1 into 0, 0, 1 into 1, 1. So this is the answer. Here, two place where left, so we are going to fill it with 0. 
and then we'll move for the next one so 1 into 1 1 into 1 1 into 0 and 1 into 1 so the answer is 101 here we are left with three places so we'll fill it with 0 so we'll place all the zeros and now we are going to add all these numbers together so 1 plus all zeros gives us 1 1 plus all zeros gives us 1 0 0 1 0 gives us 1 we are ultimately adding all these things together now here we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 so what we'll do we'll add these two ones together so 1 plus 1 the sum is 0 and the carry is 1 that will be forwarded to the next term now here we have 0 plus 1 that gives us 1 now we'll jump to the next line 1 plus 1 the sum will be 0 and carry will be 1 1 plus 1 the sum will be 0 and carry will be 1 1 plus 1 the sum will be 0 and carry will be 1 and when we bring this carry below the answer is like this but now we supposed to place point at some appropriate place and how to find where to place the point so for that you understand this thing in first term there are two digits after the point in second term there are two digits after the point so ultimately together in both the terms there are four digits after the point so in answer you supposed to count four digit one two three and four and after this four digit you supposed to place the point so the answer would be like this one zero 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 point one 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 so this is the answer of this binary multiplication now you're supposed to solve both this multiplication and write the answer in comments below if you find any difficulty during solving then ask the question in comments below if you want to ask me anything else about digital electronics you can join me on my telegram page there we can discuss together so now we are going to jump into the next term and now we are going to understand binary division so here we are going to divide this 1101 by 1 0 the process will remain same as we used to follow in decimal number system right so we'll start with the first number is the first digit 1 is greater than this 1 0 it's not greater than the 1 0 so we'll write 0 over here and we'll write 1 0 over here and we'll subtract this 0 minus 1 so we have 1 and then we'll bring this 1 down so now we have 1 1 so to gather this 1 1 is it larger than this 1 0 yes it's greater than so multiply this 1 0 with 1 and then write the answer over here in binary division we have only two options either you can multiply this 1 0 with 1 or you can multiply it with 0 so here we have multiplied it with 1 so we have 1 0 now subtract 1 minus 0 the answer is 1 and 1 minus 1 the answer is 0 now bring this 0 down over here it becomes 1 0 again is this 1 0 is equal or greater than this 1 0 yes the condition is true so we can divide this it so we can move further so multiply this 1 0 with 1 so we have 1 0 1 0 minus 1 0 it's 0 0 now bring this one down so we have 1 check the condition is this one is greater than this 1 0 no the condition is not true so what we supposed to do you just write 0 over here and bring one more term down but now we have left with no term so what we supposed to do we supposed to place a point over here and then bring another 0 over here now check the condition is this 1 0 is equal or greater than this yes it's equal to this so we can go ahead so 1 0 into 1 is 1 0 and 1 0 minus 1 0 it's 0 0 so this will be the answer 1 1 0 point 1 this will be the answer of binary division and now you supposed to solve this division by yourself and write the answer in comments below here we have understood binary addition subtraction multiplication and division if you have found any query about any of this arithmetic operation in binary write your query in comments below and then we'll discuss on these queries to go through more interesting stuffs on digital electronics you can refer the playlist and make yourself master in digital electronics so see you in next video